With AppPressor, you can create a mobile app for your membership website that protects content based on whether someone is logged in or logged out, or you can even use fine-grained controls to base it on user role, which is great for when you have different subscription levels. So I'm going to show you how that looks in the app. I've created an app with one of our starter templates here and added some pages to the menu. I have a WordPress site that has some pages that are protected on it and some of these are blog posts, some of these are pages, and you can even use something like uh, BuddyPress or LearnDash courses. So the way that it works is anyone who is registered on your WordPress site can also log into the app and they will use the same username and password. I can show you this, for example, if I go to the blog, I've protected a I've protected a post here, which is a members only video. So if I were to click on this, um, you'll see that it tells me to log in, I can't see it. But if I go to other posts that are not protected, I can see these, no problem. The other things I can protect would be, like if you have a form on your WordPress site. So this is going to say, please log in. It's for members of a certain uh, subscription level only. And I also have some content like LearnDash where if I were to click on a course and I'm not enrolled in it, it's going to say not enrolled and it's not going to show it to me. Um, so let's go back to the home page. And what I'm going to do is log in and show you the differences. You'll also see another thing I can do is hide certain menu items so that pages are not accessible in the app at all if you're not logged in or you don't have a certain membership role. So let me go ahead and log in with a user that I created that has specific permissions. So this person that I'm logging in with has the VIP membership role. So after I'm logged in, I should be able to go back to that page where I said it said members only content. And then if I click on it, you'll see that now I'm able to see this video. And this is content that's pulled in through the WP API, which is, can be protected uh, with AppPressor 4. And then the other thing that I looked at before was there was a form, which this is going to display in an iframe. And it has actually the, the form that I can then fill out. And you could do things like have people submit content, or you can uh, hide any type of content based on membership level. So there's a couple different ways to do it with iframe or through the API and based on your needs, you can choose the one that works best for you. The other thing that you'll see is I have some pages that do not show up at all until someone's logged in. So for example, with a profile page, I don't wanna show a profile page for someone who's not logged in, that doesn't make any sense. So when I'm logged in, I can see this, the menu link for this profile page. And I've also protected this with a user role. If I go to the page I have, you can protect by user role uh, using the role dash and then the name of the role in the extra classes of your menu item, which is pretty cool. So that way, if you have different membership levels, you can assign user roles using the user role editor plugin based on what, based on what subscription level they have. And then you could have like a gold, silver, and you know platinum membership level and display different pages based on those different items or those different uh, roles that they're logged in with. And then you can of course only show pages when people are logged in or you can only show them when you're logged out and you have a lot of fine grained control with that. Another thing you can do when you are creating these uh, membership based apps, if you are selling subscriptions, you will need to use an in-app purchase that is required by Apple and Google so you can create the purchase page and then uh, when people actually purchase through the app then they are created on a successful purchase we create the user on your wordpress site so that then everything is synced up automatically between your app and your site so you can also do more than this there are some other features of our documentation um, you can also have a registration you can allow people to register so I'll show you that if I log out, go back to the home page, and then um, you'll actually, if you notice, you'll see that the profile page that I had there before is now missing this page right here. It's not there because I'm not logged in anymore. And I chose to only show that to logged in uh, members. So if you are not currently, if you're not currently signed up, 
you can click this sign up button, which is a little bit out of the screen here, but it's at the bottom of this uh, login modal here. And we have this nice registration form that allows people to register. It sends them a verification code and then they put in the verification code along with their email and username. And <clears throat> that's what allows us to reduce some of the spam signups and things like that. So it's a nice built-in process for people to be able to register for free in your app. You can actually protect content that are on your pages. So like in this page, it is an, an embedded page in the app. We call it a custom page. It's, it's not pulling from WordPress or from the internet or anything. So to you can actually hide and show content on these pages using some code that we have for you. And so you can have a lot of fine grained control over how your membership app works, how your members consume the content, how they log in and out, how they register and things like that. So I hope this video was helpful.